Preview Flying the Scythe. That's the latest post on the Robert Space Industries website for the Star Citizen game. This post comes with a great video showing the scythe being flown and there are some moments in the video that look like a gamer who has gotten into the cockpit for the first time. You know, looking around, checking the field of view and just basically judging the, the, the work done and what the, the ship offers. Um, and when when we see when I see this video and picture myself doing just that, I, I'm quite happy. I'm very happy with what I see. So what I'm going to do is do something I've never done before, is play a video and record that video playing. Uh, so I don't know what the quality will turn out like, but I'll put it on HD and hopefully that, that video looks good within my video. Then what I'm going to do is read the text that comes afterwards. For those of you who don't have the time to go to the Robert Space Industries website and read large bodies of text yourself. That's something that my subscribers no, I do quite quite a lot. So we'll maintain that approach while also adding this a video element. So here goes. Now I'm not recording system audio, and therefore the music in this video, which is which goes with the video very well, um, you won't hear that. So if you want to get the original video and the original feel of the video. I recommend you do you do watch it at some stage. Now I'm just going to play this and try to discuss what we see in the video despite it being quite fast paced. Let me just that's already on HD and I'll go full screen. Reset the video and hit play. So for those of you new to Star Citizen, here we have the scythe, an alien design in a hangar. At the moment we can back the game and access our very own hangars. So if you wish to back the game right now, you can get a hangar. You won't be able to get your hands on the scythe at the moment. Now this is this is the the player getting into the cockpit. So that as you can see the, the players the pilot seat lowers for us. This is the, the HUD initializing, an approach used in all of the Star Citizen games. There's always something going on in the cockpit to sort of initiate and recognize the fact that the pilot is, is now in control. So the player, obviously a developer, is looking around and shown us the, the field of view and to me it looks good. One of the initial complaints when the, the, the first Star Citizen ships were released was the field of view. Too much interior um, you know, components etc and the actual the frame of the ship blocking, blocking our view. And this looks good. Very, very nice indeed. Those of you who are new to Star Citizen, not backing, and have not played the Arena Commander module that does allow us to dogfight at the moment, will will be new to everything that that you see here. But many many backers will not be new to what we're actually seeing on this map and it's basically what obviously looks like earth and then you have these these devices which i believe are terraforming devices and what you're seeing here is not earth this is a this is a planet being terraformed into a, a very earth like planet Now I think a moment ago the scythe was flown into an asteroid. All right. Now that's this is not going to be one of those games where you can just bounce off objects for the sake of keeping players happy and making it easy for them. This is a simulation. So all these objects you see are dangerous to your ship. However, the technology has been added to the game to 
to to make the the movement a little more fluid and therefore when when you do initiate a movement to to go around objects the game will assist you a little and there you go that very short clip but well worth watching and I've got to say I love I love that logo burning But now I will just read the, the text for preview flying the scythe. And it begins. Greetings citizens. The scythe is coming. Much of our focus in recent weeks has been on Star Marine, the FPS module. But that doesn't mean progress isn't continuing on Arena Commander and the rest of Star Citizen. The next major Arena Commander patch will include a number of updates and additions including the long promised flyable scythe. For the first time, backers will be able to get behind the stick of an alien ship with more to follow. Because of how development works, with different branches of development building off of one another, the scythe and other changes can't be added until Star Marine, which features necessary updated animation code, launches. In the meantime, we thought backers would enjoy an initial look at the scythe in action in a player's hands for the first time. Will I need to speak Vandal? Great joke. No, in Star Citizen's fiction, the scythes currently available have been modified by a human aerospace company. They include human design control surfaces and HUD software that has been modified with human appropriate text and graphics. These systems will still retain an alien style but will be fully usable by those who don't speak grunt vandal. Now that little block of text for those of you who aren't who are new to the Star Citizen universe, that text is all about immersion. It's about speaking to us as if we are already the character in the game. Um, rather, you may you may think it's a you know it's meant to be a joke, but it's actually taken on the point of view of of someone within the game's universe who is interested in purchasing a scythe and flying that that ship. So the immersion begins straight away on the, on on the Robert Space Industries website, which in itself is the name of a, a company within the game's universe. So as I'm reading this, um, I would I would let myself get become immersed basically all right and and it's great the the effort that goes into actually making that that work is is serious now the next paragraph is hasn't the scythe been in the game since ac launched yes and no is the answer the scythe has been present in arena commander as the ai enemy since the module launched but making the base ship is just the start of the process. In order to make the, sh the scythe flyable by human players, a number of tasks needed to be completed. These range from designing a human usable cockpit and HUD to engineering entirely new sounds to capturing and perfecting the animations needed to see your character get in and out of the ship. While the AI can make do with an incomplete flight model, we want to make sure you have everything you need to pilot the scythe. Constant improvements to Arena Commander also mean that the scythe has evolved alongside everything else, with new damage states being one of the additions you can look forward to. Now, what I would like to mention here is the, the game's persistence and scaling to a human, the human size, and therefore, when they, they discuss alien ships, and they di and they discuss uh, modifying those ships, they're basically modifying them from the the aliens who have different parameters, different sizes. Van Duo are are very large creatures compared to uh, obviously the intelligent. I call them creatures. They are a race of intelligent beings compared to humans, and therefore the modifications. Are, are required um, from a, a lower point of view, but the scale the scale of the design is perfect to, to human size. Now the next paragraph is how can I fly the scythe? A limited number of scythes are, were available to backers early in the campaign, 
and there are no plans to sell additional ships. That said, we will absolutely make them available for everyone to try during designated free fly weeks. Additionally, Imperator subscribers receive a token for additional scythe time each month. Past months stack, so existing Imperators will have a number of days when the ship launches. You can learn more about the Imperator subscriptions here. Um, again, those of you new to all of this, subscription within this game and project is optional. Uh, subscribers gain perks like that mentioned and it seems that those perks and bonuses to being a, a dedicated fan are building up and you know who knows what, what subscribers will be getting when the game launches but it does look well worth subscribing compared to most game games I've, I've ever come across. Now lastly are any other Vandal ships coming? Yes three Vandal ships have been revealed so far the Scythe and its sister fighter, the Glaive, presently an Arena Commander, and now the Void Bomber. You can read more about the Void Bomber here. So if you're interested in reading more, you will have to go to the, the post and get those links, click on those links, and re learn more about the what the fan do have to offer as a race. Not just what we'll get to fly, but keep in mind this is a, a race. These designs are owned by a race that is very hostile to humans and we will be fighting them in Star Citizen. And here we have the Scythe technical overview. I, I've never really gone over one of these in a video before so give me a moment. Um, obviously there's a lot of information, I'm not going to go over every every element of it. But what I'll do is go down the, the left side, the key technical information. Key technical information includes the the focus the focus of this ship is medium fighter the length is 31 meters mass is 29 387 kilograms and max crew is one person the cargo capacity is zero so when I think in Star Citizen when a ship can't carry any cargo at all not even a small store all container then we know it's a, a serious fighter and all all space within the ship is is designated for weapons ammo and other technology that will help in, in a battle but there are many ships which can carry maybe a small amount of cargo and that will be useful in the game's universe so when we pick a ship even though we are a dedicated fighter pilot, if we are a dedicated fighter pilot, sometimes we may pick a ship that has just that little bit of cargo capacity for doing runs and carrying any sort of item. Um, so this ship is, you know, this is dedicated fighter stuff. Can solve technical overview. Here I am on the technical overview for the scythe, the Van Duel scythe. The, the focus of this ship is a medium fighter. The length is 31 meters and it's a little bit short of 30,000 kilograms. The maximum crew is one person and an important, an important technical spec is the fact that it cannot carry any cargo. This tells us that it is a serious fighter. There are there are ships in the game that are designed for dog fighting. However, they may carry carry a little bit of cargo, and that will be very useful in the game's universe when we are travelling from close neighbouring planets within a single system, earning credits for delivering small items, or maybe just picking up random items floating around in space who knows you know we don't know exactly what what we'll be doing we obviously we've got a fair idea but we'll never know the full extent of what we will be carrying until the game is released I'm not going to go over everything else um, because you can see it in the the video if however 
those there are some of you out there who are listening and listen to some of the texts that I often read out and you would like to know more specifications and you would like them read to you such as the primary engines, power plant etc then please let me know obviously there's a lot of information here and I don't want to just go through it for the sake of you know covering it but if, if there is someone out there who would like to listen and take in all the information through through listening then I would be happy to run through this and do so on any number of ships so please please let me know and I think that's it yep end transmission <laughs>